and then I'm able to plug this into here and then I can take off my cap and then this will now fit into here to charge. Now these are the kind of products that I was really hoping to get my hands on. As many of you may know, about eight months ago, whoa, wait, about 10 months ago, we bought a Tesla Model 3. And today I have a product for my friends over at Jump Booster, who was nice enough to send us their 110 and 240 volt EV charger. You can get a better idea of the picture right here. Now, of course, this is made to work with technically all EVs. It's really more for like, you know, Mustang Mach-E, Ford F-150, etc. But if you have the adapter, you can, of course, use this with a Tesla. So we're going to go through the unboxing, take a look at it, and then we're going to plug this up and try to see exactly how this Jump Booster EV charger works. So thanks again to Jump Booster for sending this to me. Click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. And now let's check out this Jump Booster EV charger. All right, so Jump Booster, this is a level one and level two EV charger. Level one, of course, being the 110 volt, the just normal standard outlet. And it's also a 240 volt. So this is the front of the box, Jump Booster EV charger. Nothing uh, on the sides or the bottom. The top just has a nice little handle. And then the back shows you a little bit about what it looks like. You've got over temperature protection. So if it gets too hot, it'll cut off to of course not destroy your car. Over voltage protection, also very, very good. Leakage protection, over charge protection. So it's not gonna just keep trying to pump electricity into your EV. It's just gonna charge to what it needs. And lightning protection. So it looks like it has a nice little digital screen on it. Let's, uh, let's open this up. Here you can also see compatible with J1772 EVs, which essentially at this point in 2022 almost every ev is j1772 compatible teslas of course you need the adapter i'll show you that uh when we get to that point let's open this up got a little seal to break here let's see oh look at that it looks like it comes oh that's amazing it comes in like a carrying case that's great so let's slide this on it oh look at that even has that's amazing i like this logo they did here good job and well, that's it for the box. So this is it. Very nice little compact carrying case. A nice zipper on it. Let's open it up. There, do not let the control box in rain or water. Okay, so let's take this on out. Bada bing. And looks like we got a little jump booster electric vehicle charger guide here. So I must say, I will actually read through this before I just go plugging it into my uh, EV. And then what else we got down in here? Looks like we got a uh, plate for possibly wall mounting this or either this one of the two. And then, ah, yes, this is a standard, well, that part's not, this part is the standard adapter. So you'd be able to take this part, which is like level two, and plug it into here to uh, turn this into level one. Now, of course, on level one, you're only going to get three, maybe five miles, depending on your EV. But I can tell you, that can be a lifesaver. And uh, that's that's it for the carrying case. So, looks like a pretty good length of cable here very strong and sturdy and here is our little box looks like that'll feed us some info and then of course here is our connector so it's got a nice little cover for it that would of course plug right into a mustang mach e f-150 lightning it'll plug directly into literally any ev except a tesla in america over here in america you would need the adapter and it'll still have the same effect i like that very nice i like the click got a little jump booster logo there same over here and yeah this is just a nice little rubber cover to kind of uh protect it when it's not in use it looks like it's a pretty long cable we'll have to see exactly how long this cable is. I guess now let's, uh, we gotta find us a grounded outlet, which is very important because most of our outlets here were not grounded when we moved here. And then we'll be able to run this out the door down to the Tesla somehow, and we'll show this working. 
So this is a 24 foot cable. So we should be able to plug into this nice new outlet here that we just ran that I nose grounded and is a good outlet. We're running from here out the window over to the Tesla. Now some of the other good features is this has a pure copper core, the LED display, as well as all of the short circuit and leakage and ground and overload protection. You can output 3.8 kilowatts max. And it's of course level one, 120 volt with this adapter, which is just the NEMA 515P, or it's level two with this adapter, which is the NEMA 620P. So let's plug in our adapter, plug in our cable, plug it into our Tesla and see it work. So I'll plug this into here, nice and snug fit. And then this can go into my standard American outlet. Nice Velcro tying it together. Plug this into my outlet here and look at that. So you're supposed to keep this out of water and everything. It's not a uh, weatherproof or anything like that. Now we'll take this and uh, we'll just run our cable out the window. Thank you, my queen wife. So I'll run this down to here. I also forgot to mention, you can adjust the current with this. So you can go from 10 amps to 13 amps, up to 16 amps, and you can also set a timer from zero to 12 hours. Let's get in our car. This is my adapter. See me? Yeah, nice. Open up my charge port, and then I'm able to plug this into here, and then I can take off my cap, and then this which all the other EVs use and hotels, etc. will now fit into here to charge. Bada bing. So now let me double check the car. So oh, we're at 55%. It's scheduled to charge, but I'll go ahead and click start charging. And uh, yeah, we'll click start charging. So now in six hours, I'd have a full battery. Let's go check the inside. And there we go. We have started charging tells you the amps, the hours, so now we're, our amps are going up the degrees, it's 75 degrees, and so we're getting the full 16 amps there, very nice, it's a 20 amp breaker, so that's great, and as you saw, in about five or six hours, I'd go from that 55% all the way to my 70% limit. And of course, this is showing that I've started charging, no errors or anything, so that is great. So it even tells you 110 volt, and of course, as I charged for an hour or whatnot, this number would change here. Working great so far, no complaints at all. And so that should do it for this Jump Booster EV charger. Absolutely no complaints by me, worked exactly as it should. No air messages on the charger, no issues with the cable, started charging instantly exactly how it should. And plus, it being level one and level two is a major, major benefit. I personally would recommend one of these to any EV owner because if you don't have a regular 110 volt charger in your car, it could be a disaster for you. When we went out to Alabama, we stayed in a cabin and the 110 volt was the only way for us to charge. Had we not have had that 110 volt charger, we would have been dead in the water. So I highly recommend every EV owner should have a 110 volt charger and preferably one like this where it's level one and level two. I'll of course have this exact Jump Booster EV charger linked down below in my description if you'd like to grab one of these for your vehicle. As you've seen here, works perfectly fine with our Tesla Model 3. This is the 2018 Model 3. So click like, click subscribe. Oh, I'm in my jacket. Indulge in your life <laughs> at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. And we'll see you in the next video. Deuces.